are special, we are awesome, we are family. We're full of love, we're full of life, we're a special, awesome family. We're a special, awesome family. It's our special, awesome family. Awesome. Hi, you guys. I know it's night time, but we were doing our standing session with uh, Daniel. He's over here in the stander. Good job, Babas. We wanted to say we have a new subscriber. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I'm so pumped, you guys. I'm so excited about this because this subscriber, I've known her. <clears throat> channel for a long time and i've been subscribed subscribed for years um she was on sabbatical for a while which is understandable of course you know things are things aren't the way they are but she's back and that is strawberry moon reborn they subscribed to us you guys i'm so excited they were the reason that we started doing what we do good job daniel um so those of y'all who don't know welcome back to my channel <clears throat> I'm Rocky, 44 years old, totally blind, and I have autism. And we create videos like these uh, with our special sweet reworn children and virtual children so that people do not feel alone and we just like having fun doing this kind of thing. So this is uh, what we're looking to do, huh, Daniel? Daniel, you play in? So this is a time where Daniel um, usually is in his stander. He loves to play in his stander. <clears throat> Are you having fun? It is Friday. You guys will see the actual Friday vlog here in a bit. I will upload that in a bit. But I wanted you guys to hear about the new subscriber we got. And Daniel wanted to say hi. Was that Daniel? Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, I want to play with Lacey and, um, Bert and all of my friends at Strawberry Moon Reborns. Yeah. He doesn't know this yet, but, but, but they had to, Alfie had to go to new home. What? Oh no, I wish he could have came here. I know. Al he loved Alfie. He was like obsessed with Alfie. Um, every time we would see a video with Alfie, he would just get so excited and have to watch the whole thing with Alfie in it, right, Bubba? Yeah. Are you excited? You playing in your stander? So, Daniel has been working toward standing longer times. And this is his first time standing as long as he has been standing. Because what we usually would do is just do him like 30 minutes in a stander. But now the therapist wants to go for an hour. So what we do is we stand him for 30 minutes and stretch him. And give him a drink and whatever, and instead of again for 30 more minutes. So, this is the second session in this gender, right, Baba? Mm hmm. What you got? My toys? Yeah, you do. He loves cars, huh? Mm hmm. Keezy got a puppy. Oh, you were to say, 33 moons. Don't. You weren't supposed to tell that yet. Oopsie, shall we? So I'm gonna sing a coke over here. Oh my gosh, that's good. So we wanted to come and say hi, let you guys know we got a new subscriber, huh? Yeah. So this coming week, um, some of our kids are gonna start very intensive therapy, which means <clears throat> it's gonna last quite a bit of the day because they have, we have to get them ready for SDR surgery, which means selective dorsal, um, what was that say, uh, selective dorsal rhizotomy. And Daniel was the first one that really wanted, he really wants to get up and move more. So when we talked about it, cause Daniel didn't really want to have any more surgeries after the ones he's already had. Right, Dan? Well, this one I won't because that way I won't be spastic and not have to use a pump anymore. Kid's smart for his age, right? Mm-hmm. Mommy well, says I'm super smart. Yeah, you are. I love you, Bubba's. 
<laughs> so, <clears throat> um, super excited for that to begin so we can get him ready for his, uh, get them ready for their surgery coming up. Um, they will not be having it until January because we've got so much stuff coming up. Oh, that's going to England in, um, November and then December, me, me possibly having the babies, <clears throat> the baby, we're not sure what if it's babies yet, but the baby in December. So we have too much coming up right now, so we can't do it till January, but are you excited about it, Daniel? Well, I mean, it's hard to be, but. I'm excited to stand up. I'm going to be able to move a lot more. And he's came a long way in his wheelchair. He's able to move himself and manipulate the chair, which is awesome. Mail now, Apple, your receipt from Apple. Anyway, so he was... Usually, Daniel's not one to want to do any kind of surgery. Daniel hates surgeries. But on this one, he's like, Mom, you mean I can stand again? I'm like, yeah, possibly. He goes, do it. I don't want to have the pump anymore, so. <clears throat> this is what we're working toward, huh, Bubba? Mm hmm. Because with the pump, I still have spasms. And with the surgery, I won't have them so much anymore. That's right. And then I can get off back of it. That's right. Good job, Bubba. He's been building his toys really well. Um, A few weeks ago, he couldn't hold this particular car now he's able to hold it i'm so proud of this kid oh my gosh look at you oh you drop it bubba here let me get it for you there you go um the tray that came with the standard he has i love because it's like a big huge long tray and he can stand there and play as long as he wants i got his um spongebob going out of the background over there where he can watch it while he plays that's his sort of his reward for for being in his standard that, or he likes to watch our videos. <laughs> right, Mama? You do, huh? So proud of you. Oh, my goodness. Um, He has made a lot of progress, you guys. Like, he... I don't often talk about this because I want to wait and kind of just reveal things, but... He has been working so hard and trying to make progress and standing and crawling and stuff like that. Right? Mm-hmm. I can crawl now. I crawl in the house. I don't use my wheelchair much. I crawl in the house. You do, don't you? Uh-huh. I crawl down the stairs. You do, don't you? Uh-huh. And mommy didn't tell you, but I'm going to tell you. Daniel! No, let me... Can I do it, please? Okay. We have another baby coming. <clears throat> her name is Deidre. Deidre Noel. We're going to call her D or DD. And she's going to be coming soon because Aunt Jess got her for Mama and because she had to be homo. And so Mama's going to get her on her brother. So I'm going to have another brother. And his name is Micah. That's right. He got CP2. He got to use a standard too. That's right, Bubba. Good job. You are doing so good. Mister, what am I going to do with you? I'm so proud of you, kid. <laughs> love me. Oh, I already love you. <laughs> His middle name is the same as my first name. His is Micah Daniel. Oh, how did you know that? Because I heard you talking when I was in my stand -up, And you were talking to the walker. That's right, you did, huh? Mm-hmm. I rolled around, guys, and I got close enough where I could hear Mama talking to the worker about what, who we're getting and why. You did, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So we're doing pretty good, huh? How about that? Uh-huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you so excited about? Because this Sunday we're going to have church and we're going to have a party and a lot of candy. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> he's also in intensive feeding therapy and he's doing so awesome. And if I get better, I can get off the stupid feeding tube. <laughs> oh, let me get a Bella. Here, let me get that. There you go. <clears throat> he has also gotten obsessed with these fidget toys. He loves these popper things. Let me show you what they feel, what they sound like. Hold on, let me get his popper. This one we got um, from the dollar store. Look. Do it, Daniel. You can do it. Good job, Bubba. Turn it over. Good job. So he likes that. <clears throat> so we're doing everything we can to make his quality of life good. All of our kids' quality of life good. Mommy, what song? Can I take, um, um, can, can I, um, slow down, slow down, think what you're trying to say. Can I take lazy riding in my car? Yes, you can. If, if her mommy says it's okay, if Aunt Lulu says it's okay, okay. Okay, okay. Cause I want to take her riding in my car. Yeah, you do, huh? Mm-hmm. And Bert too. Bert too, huh? He's a crazy lap. <laughs> yeah. He is, doesn't he? But he's precious, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. He'd be a good babysitter. I wouldn't mind staying with him. Cause he's fun. He likes to play. Like I do. And he would play with me. Yeah, he would, huh? Uh-huh. Good job, Dan. <clears throat> so that's like the other kids are in various places. Ezra is in ABA right now. <clears throat> we have a therapist that comes here to the house twice a week. So our ABA kids are in the therapy right now. Um, Lane has gone to a music lesson. Dane is going to basketball because now football is over. It's just, we just had a last game. We did not win to go to state. We came close, but we, the last little fumble got us. But we're going to do it next year. So, um, Dane is, uh, going to do basketball. He's going to the gym to do some workouts and do some basketball and stuff. Um, that's where also where Josh and Alex are too. <clears throat> but Lane's off to a music lesson. He, um, is still playing his saxophone, huh? Mm-hmm. He plays it a lot. He does, huh? Yeah. And when I'm sad, he plays it for me. So anyways, babe gets off at eight, so he's still working, you guys. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Christmas season is definitely upon us, you guys, which you're gonna see that in the next vlog. I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen yet. But anyway, you guys, babe's still at work and everything. I'm just... Oh, thank you, Dad. Dad just brought me a cup of coffee, which I really appreciate. You guys, no one I know of can make coffee like my dad and my mom can. I don't know. I try, but I'm sucky at it when it comes to certain things. But my dad makes the very best coffee known to man. Um, I do want to do a QA. and a Would you guys like a Q&A? If you want a Q&A, just ask me some questions. I'll go through and look and see what the questions are, and I will try to do a Q&A. Um... Ooh, you got told, Snowball. <laughs> the cat was in the bathroom again. She, um, thinks it's okay to go in the bathroom and destroy stuff, so I have to, my dad has to get her out of there. But anyway, you guys, I'm so excited because the good news. Here's the good news. Our passports should be back in a while, and we are going to da 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 England for Thanksgiving. Our friends, um... Are gonna host us. We have some friends that we've been on for years that are gonna host us, and we're so excited. <laughs> we're so pumped because I'm hoping, really, really hoping that um, that kids are gonna great, get a great experience from there and everything. Daniel is hilarious. Dan, Papa, hey, you English accent. Hello, everybody. This is Daniel, and I like a cup of tea because tea is so awesome. <laughs> Stinker. I love you, Bubba. Love you more, Mommy. And we got friends in England, and I'm hoping to meet new friends. Yeah, that's right. And Dee Dee's from England, so 
she will be right at home. That's right, she will. That's right, Bubba. Mm. That coffee's amazing. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that coffee's so good. <laughs> but we wanted to come in here and spend some few minutes with you guys and talk about all the kids are doing okay. We did have a rough day with Jennifer. She's doing better. Praise God. Um, I think it's just, you know, a little bit of anxiety. She has severe, severe anxiety. Like, she can be okay, and then all of a sudden, she's really upset. Right, Bubba? Mm-hmm. Like, earlier, she was sad. She was, huh? Mm-hmm. She didn't want to go to school today, but she had to, because we got to go to school. That's right. You want to show me new last school you know how to do? Mm-hmm. I'm cleaning up my toys. Because Mama says that we've got to smell good and, and look good, so I'm cleaning my toys. Good job, buddy. Yeah. I'm hoping people are not thinking I'm too harsh on my kids because, you know, honestly, I, you know, I was raised, my granddad was one of those types, and I wish you guys could have met him. He was a great guy. Um, he believed that everybody was equal. He had believed that everybody was equal, no matter what their condition they had, they were still an equal person. And if, you know, if you want him to treat you right, or treat you equal, you did what you had to do. You did your chores. I mean, he wasn't mean. He never was mean to me. He never hit me or nothing like that. Never did that. He was just a military guy. He was the type of person that you didn't do your chores. Well... You didn't get to do the things you wanted to do, like go, you know, romping around doing things like you wanted to do. I mean, our kids get away with more than I did at that, their ages, I will tell you that. And Kyle and Bodie, of course, are in the ride room, naturally. That's where they are a lot of times, <laughs> is in that ride room. Kyle is really big into rides. Um, those of you who don't know Kylie, uh, he's really big into rides. He loves his rides. Mommy, he's obsessed with rides. Daniel? <laughs> well, he is. He's obsessed with rides, but I like it because he always tells me, I'll hold your hand, Daniel. He always does. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Woo, coffee's awesome. So we're just doing our, thing, our standing therapy. He's cleaning up his toys. Um, he's able to stand and do that in the standard now. I'm so proud of this kid. Oh my goodness. Good job, buddy. You put it in the right bins. So what we started to do was bring the toy bins up to, um, the level where he could reach it. And then he just, we put the toys on his tray and he puts them in the, in the bins that they go in, right? Mm-hmm. Mommy's philosophy is, uh, do you want it? Eh? Do you need it? Eh? You want to keep it? If you don't, it goes... <laughs> it gets donated. Right, buddy? Mm hmm Daniel is funny. He will... He likes to tell on me all the time. Well, it's fun because you always start laughing and go, Daniel! <laughs> yeah, I do, huh? Hmm. I think I'm about doing a nighttime routine with Daniel. Because he's the reason. He has, along with quite a few other reasons, was the reason why we started our channel. Huh, Dan? Yeah. We did. We had a comment. Our first comment. Ah, in a while. I'm so excited. Our first comment in quite a while. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited. Oh. I'm coming, Granny. Answer call. But. I have to deal with this. Pause button. Ah, time recorded. Sorry, y'all. That was my grandmother. She was needing some things, so we're gonna go see her on Sunday. Daniel is. Oh gosh, everywhere. Oh, stuff everywhere. Sorry, y'all. Daniel's gonna go with me because he loves hanging out with Gurney. Like, the other kids like to, but they don't want to stay for a long time. Or Daniel will stay as long as we do. He loves to stay and hang out with Granny, huh? Except when she calls at you, then that makes me sad. Oh, baby. 
Hi, Uncle Brian. Love you. Love you too, baby. We all love you. We all love you. Mm -hmm. So, if you want us to do a night or nighttime routine um, with with each kid, comment down below. If you want us to do a Q and A, comment down below and let us know if you want to do that. We're pumped. Um, this channel is actually getting bigger because we know a few other people who have just now heard about us. And I'm hoping they subscribe as well because, oh my goodness, if they do. I mean, I'm not worried about numbers that much, but it would be awesome to get more people to know about us and what we do. Right, gang? Mm-hmm. Mommy says that and Lulu and Uncle Brian was the reason we started our channel. And me. Yes, you. You were my first love. Mm-hmm. Mommy? What? I want daddy coming home. I want my daddy too. Baby, daddy be home with a little while, sweetheart. My daddy's got to work, okay? On days like this where he's working, like he, um, Daniel gets very sad. And he don't want to go to sleep until daddy gets home. And then after daddy gets home, he has to have a snuggle session for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Um, after, after Lonzy gets home. <laughs> so... Mm. We have to have a cuddle session, huh, Daniel? Mm-hmm. Because he always tells me the monsters won't get me because he's right here. That's right. They won't get you, honey. Mommy and Daddy will bite him first. Yeah. He might bite you back. No, they won't bite us back. We're bigger than they are, girl. <laughs> yeah, these nights where Lonzie works hard uh, later... It's hard for us because um, the kids really miss their dad. And no doubt about it, Daniel loves his mama, but he's also a big daddy's boy. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. This bin goes right here, right, mama? Let me see. Very good, Baba. Good job, Ian. So, he's learning to put his toys away where they go and each bin that they go and He categorizes his toys. He, he That's how meticulous Daniel is. No, Kyle doesn't care, but Daniel is, he likes to categorize things. Mm -hmm. Lego stuff with Lego stuff. Cars with car stuff. He-Man with He-Man stuff. Transformers with Transformers stuff. And Mario with Mario stuff. Yeah, he likes to play his game, huh? Mm hmm Which one do you like to play most? Mario! Huh? Of course, Mario. Anyway, um, we might just do a nighttime routine with Daniel and try to... I don't know if he'll go to sleep, though, because Lonzie's not here, and he does not sleep if Lonzie is not here. <sighs> and they wanted him to go to Austin, um, to do a thing, and he's like, I can't leave my kids that long. And, I mean, we would, we would just have to go with him because there's no way that he would leave, um, our kids that long. Good job. Are you pushing the car around? Oh my God. I've never seen him do this. Do it again. Do it again, Bubba. You want to do it again? Now that I'm watching, he won't do it. <laughs> do it again. Oh, good job, Bubba. So, this big huge tray we just got for his sander, he's loving that because he can put his his, his bins on there and put his toys in it and then put it right back where they go, huh? Mm-hmm. I have an easy stander. These are different than what they used to have when my mommy was little. They have these things, and they put them on your legs and they inflate it. They went, but this one doesn't have that. And I'm glad. I don't like that sound. I know you don't, honey. So we're going to get ready to make his formula. Well, it's actually not a formula. It's a blend he drinks. Um, He gets in his spot, his, um, his, um, feeding tube because he has a feeding tube right now because he's 
not getting enough weight. So he gets a, a blend. We were doing formula, but it wasn't agreeing with him, and he has a very sensitive stomach, so it wasn't agreeing. So I'm like, yeah, okay, no, 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 we can't do that. So, is your formula ready, okay, Bubba? You put these away, and, and I'll be right back, okay? Uncle Rich is right here with you. He's doing something on his phone, but he's right here with you, okay? Okay, don't go. Oh, honey, you gotta get your feet ready, lovey. Come here, let me guess. I love you. Love you more. So, I guess we'll do a nighttime routine with Daniel first. So, now I'm going to show you how we do Daniel's feed. Hold on one second. Okay, guys. So, this is um, Daniel's feed. I blended up some veggies. And I put, like, broccoli, carrots, green beans, cauliflower, spinach, and turnip greens. I also put a little bit of meat in there for protein. I put some um some of the veal we had in there. I put some veal in it. Oh my grandfather clock goes off. Um I mix all that up. I blended it up really good. And now I'm gonna put it through his feeding tube. It's gonna be, I'm gonna get ready to go in the pump, so Daniel eats um pretty much okay during the day, but at night we give him this to kinda of give him extra calories because um Daniel gets all kinds of meds, and it's easier to give it through him to, to him through his YouTube because <clears throat> he has so many medications. It's just better that way, huh, Daniel? Yeah, he's in there playing. Rich is over there playing with him right now. Get off your phone for a minute and play with your nephew here. So, Lonzy will hopefully be on his way home soon, but. We also give Daniel Beneprotein. It's really good for his body. He does not get enough um, uh, protein sometimes, so we give him Beneprotein. And we also give him fiber to help him go, because if you're in a wheelchair, you don't go as easily. So he gets a bit of fiber, a bit of protein. And we mix all this conglomeration up with the blend he gets. So I'm shaking up the meds, the bit of fiber and the water and the bit of protein. And then I'm gonna get it in with the food I made. He can eat, but this is just to help him more because he doesn't get enough weight to be off the feeding tube just yet. We go back and if he wants to talk to the GI doctor. Notice how thick that's getting. That is the consistency of it. It's kind of gross and <laughs> it smells bad, but it works for him and that's what we use. And the medications he gets is um, Epidiolex, Carnitor, and uh, Clovisam. Okay, so this is um, the Carnitor, the Epidiolex, and his um, Bicompa. That's also a seizure med. And he also gets the, um, let me show you all the meds he gets. Hold on. So this is the Bicampa. This only is at night. And he takes a Carnotaur three times a day right now. And this is a Breviact. This, uh, is also a helper. Because Daniel's seizures are so complex and hard to treat, when he has what's called refractive seizure disorder, it's very hard to treat it because of the condition Daniel has. Good, good job, honey. Most of his meds, I can just give him and he'll take it. But with these, we always use the feeding tip for that because there's so many of them. Um, these are all his night meds. He also gets melatonin to help him sleep because he, kids like Daniel who have brain injuries do not sleep well. They wake up in the night. So we give this for um, sleep. And he also gets, um, he also gets, uh, there's his Clobazam right there. Ooh, I missed his Clobazam. Not good. <laughs> so this right here is a rescue med. This is Midazolam. This is a rescue medication that Daniel gets when he has a seizure. It's a new one. We just started it. 
And Daniel gets that when he has a seizure. If he has any type of seizure, he gets medazolam. Um, so this is what we started now for seizures. He was on this one, which is Ativan, but we took him off that because it wasn't really helping. It was just knocking him on his butt. So it wasn't solving seizures either. So we took him off the Ativan, which I'm glad they did because that stuff can be addictive. This is medazolam. This is like a buckle medab medazolam. Now the first to rescue man is his clobazam, but he has to have clobazam anyway because if he doesn't have it, he will have seizures through the night, so we make sure you give it. For that reason. And this is <clears throat> another type of medication to help him um, relax at night because his muscles are so spastic. And yes, he is on baclofen through a pump, but it doesn't always help him as much. So that's why I want to do the um, the uh, selective dorsal rhizotomy for him because he he just doesn't he he can't sleep because of the spasticity. So um, this is called quantidine. It also helps blood pressure, but also keeps him calm. <clears throat> Now, in the morning, David gets Concerta. That's for his ADHD. He's on a lot of medication. Um, when you have a special needs child, you guys, moms, you guys all know this. There are a lot of medications, and Daniel's no exception. And this is what he gets for pain. This is <clears throat> um, ibuprofen. He only gets it when he's having a lot of pain and supposed to see you bad. That's when he gets that. That's only as needed, so. And right now he's also on an antibiotic because he has, um, his right ear is a little bit infected. So he's on, um, he's on, what is this? Ah, uh, can't see it. Oh no, Calflex for that. So we have that. And then he's almost done with Calflex because his ear infection is getting a lot better, so. So that's Daniel's, and he also takes calcium and phosphorus. Um, this is phosphate tabs, and this is the calcium. And what we do is every time he gets a formula or a feed, we put um, calcium, phosphorus, calcium, phosphorus. It doesn't really matter what goes in first, as long as one of them does. So this is what he gets every time he gets a feed or gets any kind of his medications. He gets the calcium and phosphorus. So. That might be changing soon because now that he's eating natural food that we're giving is all organic and all homemade, um, even with blends, it's all homemade. Hi, Daniel. Hi, baby. You're holding it with your stander. Good job. You guys, he manipulated himself in here with the stander. I'm so proud of you, kid. You know what it's time for, don't you? Medicine ew. Well, luckily for you, you get it through your T-tube. Not the cornitor. I have to eat with the applesauce. Mm. That's not so bad. So this is always hard. There's so many meds our kids take. Like, Daniel takes the most. I think I'm, well, no, I'm wrong. Peter takes more, a lot more than Daniel does because Peter's on a lot more because of his medical za. So, because it's Daniel's nighttime, our team are going to do Daniel's first. Good job, Dan. Good boy, you're so good. <laughs> yeah, good job, Boa. So if he can get his med down that we use for applesauce, we will give him a treat. He loves, and I'm saying this lightly, loves milk. So I'm going to give him a bottle of milk. A lot of people do not know this because we don't talk about it because it's just something that we have not really said much about. Some of you guys know, Daniel likes a bottle. Yes, he's older. And yes, technically he's too old for that, but because of he him having special needs that he has, we don't say anything to him because we know that it's comforting. <gasps> Daniel, guess who gonna be coming home in and... computer? What time is it? The time is seven eleven p.m. In about an hour, Daddy'll be off work. Bye bye. Then we're gonna have our dinner. Um, me and Dad are gonna have dinner in Bible time. That's what we do every Friday night when he gets home. We do dinner, dinner and Bible time. And he has to struggle time with Daniel because 
Well, just because. <laughs> right? Right, Bubba? Yeah. So this is Daniel's meds right here. Good job, Daniel. So proud of you. And now, bath time. Now this right here is very soothing to Daniel because Daniel has a lot of spasticity in his legs and arms. So we turn this on to give him um, good vibes and good relaxation. It helps him feel better. Right, Bubba? Does that feel good? <laughs> he loves it. Um, I know you probably are going to ask what therapies we do. There's a lot that we do. Um, I'll give you more of that in the q and if we do a Q&A, which we might do. But a couple of the therapies that Daniel has is occupational. Um, he also has a, a physical therapy. And he also gets hyperbaric therapy, which hyperbaric just started this week for him. He, the first time we did it, he was scared. He cried the whole entire time. Now, today, which I didn't show you guys, I should have, but I forgot to film. Uh, he did amazing. He did really well, huh? I still don't like it, though. It's loud. I know, honey. But they let him take um, something in there to listen to, so. Long as he was watching his Paw Patrol, he was fine, and he took a good nap, so. Uh, we try to schedule it around his nap time because that way he can get a good nap in and also breathe as much oxygen as he can get to help his body. To help his sweet little body, huh, Daniel? <laughs> Mommy? What? When's daddy coming home? Honey, I know you want your daddy. He'll be home soon, love, okay? Oh, daddy took me in. I know, baby. Daddy will tuck you in, okay? But he won't, because you guys got a Bible time. Tell you what, Baba. Tell you what. I'll make sure he tucks you in before we have our Bible time, okay? Promise? I promise. I promise, my love. I promise. I promise. I promise. I love you, Daniel. I love you more. Oh, give me that. So, whoa, so we're still in the tub. <laughs> Are you having fun? This um, really suits him and helps him to get ready for a bedtime mode. Um, if I could recommend anything, it would be this because it's very soothing, huh? Oh, daddy's going. Hold on. Hey, you guys. So Daniel is... <clears throat> doing his bath uh, therapy in his bathtub right now and I'm in the laundry room which is adjoined to the bathroom so I'm just putting some clothes in putting laundry suits in because he has to have the suits for next week for work but I'm putting his suits in and getting everything ready to go because you know I was very healthy guys I'm so excited really pumped about that okay Daniel you ready okay Bubba so Daniel's got out of the bathtub he's all crinkly like a prune he's wrinkly like a prune <laughs> aren't you yeah you're wrinkly like a prune aren't you Good job, Dan. So our, our actual vlog will be posting as well pretty soon. It's just a nighttime routine for Daniel. Because I promised we'd do his first because he was the one who, you know, he wanted to be on camera and actually help me start this channel. So, yay! <laughs> hey, guys. So this is the time when Daniel has his bottle. We just read our book. Is it good, honey? So guys, so this is the time when things are really cute. So Lonzy just got home. And this is the time where Daniel wants to snuggle with his daddy. And be his daddy's baby, right Dan? Yeah, there you go.
So I just laid him down in his bed, and Lonzie's in there snuggling with him. This is what happens. You guys, this is the cute part about it all. You know, yes, he is older than you probably shouldn't be drinking that, but I don't care. He likes it. It brings him comfort. He likes it, and that's all I care about. He likes it, huh? Is that good, Papa? <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you? So I put, um, either I put water down in apple juice because the fact that it makes, if you put apple juice without the water, it makes them a little hyper. So I put water down in apple juice, but this time I just put some chocolate milk in there. So while they snuggling with him and rubbing his back and letting him drink his bottle. Seven thirty PM. Five notifications. Snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. You okay, honey? He's tired, you can tell. He hasn't slept yet. Is that good bottle, honey? This is the time where we snuggle. Where they snuggle together because it's daddy's, it's daddy Daniel time. Is that better, honey? So I just got all the other kids to bed, but Daniel fights it until daddy gets home. He's it's just that way. He won't go to sleep until daddy gets home. He's getting tired though, you can tell. So sometimes the meds make him a little tired because um, they're meds that, that he needs, but they make him a little bit tired. Yeah, you can tell he's getting tired. Night, Daniel. Love you. Okay, guys, so before I put him to sleep, to bed, I always clean his bed. He has a sleep safe because he does have accidents. So Lonzie right now is holding him, and he is asleep. So I'm just cleaning his bed off really good, and then I'm going to make it, and then we're going to put him in bed. There we go. Oh, yeah, you're tired. Snuggle, snuggle, snuggles. <laughs> okay, so now this is when I make his bed. He is sound asleep. I don't put him on his bipap though. Because when he sleeps, he cannot be without the vent. He has to have it. Oh, yeah, someone is very, very tired. Even though Lonzo's exhausted, um, he still will come in and cuddle with him. So, because we were snuggling in our bed, and he and Lonzo almost fell asleep snuggling with him, so. Okay. Okay, Daniel. Time to go night-night, baby. I know you're tired. He, he kind of fidgeted when I was, um, <clears throat> moved close to him with the camera. Good night. So I always have to change his sheets because sometimes he has accidents, even though he's in pull-ups. <clears throat> um, that sometimes can leak. Um, so we're going to make this look awesome for him, for our sweet Daniel. Then I'll show you how we get his bin later on. Cause Daniel has to use a bin later at night because he forgets to breathe. So we're gonna put his bin later on and put him to bed. And there he is. That's his bin later. This is a trilogy. He uses this every night and he has one that's portable on his chair because he has breathing trouble. Now, the difference in, ow, in Daniel and other kids is he doesn't have a trach. He has a mouthpiece ventilator for daytime and then the mask at night. So 
So he is very sleeping good, like he's knocked out. The problem is, I think Lonzie may have fallen asleep as well because he fussed when we were trying to put him down in the bed. He started crying. So Lonzie crawled in there next to him. But I think Lonzie may have fallen asleep, you guys. Oh no, this is not good. <laughs> so this is where Daniel sleeps. And <clears throat> Skip, well now we're starting to call him Kipton. Kip's in here. And Shannon's in here. And um uh oh god I'm missing somebody I can't think of who the name is I don't know oh yeah Scott and Mike are in here too they like sharing the same room because Daniel don't want to be alone so there's he's sleeping away he is out of it okay well as he did not fall asleep well he dozed off I didn't Fall totally asleep, so I'm hoping Daniel would go to sleep and stay asleep. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna say good night. I will be posting a longer actual vlog here in a bit. I will put that up. I am editing at the moment as we speak while sitting here watching him sleep. Um, tomorrow we're gonna go to Christmas shopping uh, because the kids are gonna be picking names, and then we're gonna go Christmas shopping. So we're gonna do that. Uh, tomorrow. Ah, anyway, so we're going to say good night now. This is Daniel's bed. He has a sleep safe made by George bed. And that right there is his bed later. This is a trilogy. <clears throat> we don't like the newer trilogy because it makes it hard for him to breathe, but this one is really good. Look at that. He is out of it, y'all. He is knocked out. So he's got his bottle there in case he wakes up and needs it. And he's got his puppy. Like, okay, I'll show you the toys that we leave in his bed. He has his puppy. He has his boppy because he likes to sleep by that sometimes. And he's got his Seven, friend out. Oh. PM, six notifications. YouTube grouped now. Huh. I, real, I just realized Lonzo got home a little early in the night, so, anyway, um, so this is a sleep safe bed, he needs it because he falls out of bed real easy if he has a seizure, and because the condition he has causes a lot of problems, so it's easy for him to have that, so he is out, you guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to upload this and do some editing for tomorrow's video, I love you guys so much, thank you for subscribing watching and supporting us we love you guys so very much thank you very much for hanging with us and having a great day with us you will see our full day pretty soon i may actually upload that tonight um because it is ready i just have to get ready to edit it and then upload love you guys so much see you tomorrow bye love you